Welcome to my kitchen ladies and gentlemen. What am I going to show you today? It's not a cooking segment. We can call it cooking hack. I'm going to show you how we can blend chili paste. Cara membuat chili kering kisa. Tahan lama. How we can also keep it to last longer. There's no secret magic to this. Uh, you may have watched uh, many other videos on this. But this is what i know as far as i have been doing for the years eh? now what is the purpose kenapa nak buat chili kili i'm uh, uh, basically uh, not comfortable buying chili bowl eh? tak apa ni kata tak rasa uh, biasa atau tak rasa uh, normal lah kalau nak beli chili kili i prefer to make my own chili kili and uh, the challenge is not about making the chili giling but the challenge is how to keep it to last longer all right now the secret as far as i know some people will blend the chili uh, with uh, some garlic masukkan bawang putih and blend together they say the uh, bawang putih is uh, anti kulat garlic is uh, will preserve uh, the dried chili that you have blend but for me i think it is oil and some salt inside while you blend now how do we make and what is the start macam mana kita nak mula this is already the chili giling eh? sorry chili kering okay dried chilies this looks a lot uh, but uh, we are big fan of uh, sambal in the house uh, spicy dishes so i normally make a lot and stock up in the fridge all right uh, buy and make the chili uh, kering kisa or blend and make the chili paste and stock in the fridge and remember even if you use oil and salt uh, freeze it on the freezing compartment uh, not bottom because uh, again let me tell you based on my experience no matter what if you put it at the below compartment there will be tendency that uh, it will start to smell after one or two weeks eh? so when you have already blended put in smaller containers and freeze and when you want remove it and use as and when you need to all right now i've already snip eh? i use the uh, kitchen uh, scissors and i've already snip into pieces eh? if you want to remove all the seed 100 percent then you snip in between potong di tengah and then remove all the seed which of course is time consuming and I'm not, I have not done that or I'm not going to do that anyway. All right, so this uh, pot of uh, dried chilies, I'm going to add water, masukkan air and we are going to cook uh, to soften the chilies. Basically, we are going to boil. Once we have boiled, we let it cool down and we are going to blend in the blender. I don't have a food processor kinder, so I'm going to use my blender. All right, you may need to use a little bit of water if the blender doesn't spin, okay? And uh, what else should I say? Once you have uh, boiled the chilies, the seeds, because we have already snipped the potong chili, so the seeds may tend to uh, come out. So we are just going to scoop the chili and blend, all right? And there's no need to rinse once you have boiled. So let me show you. Come onto the stove the chilies and water inside so let us uh, boil it for the time being okay, to ladies soften. and gentlemen can you see it has come to a good boil i uh, boiled over low heat for 20 minutes and you can see the seeds are, has also come a part out of the chilies eh? so we we'll switch off the heat and cool down the chilies and the next step of course is to blend okay ladies and gentlemen we have already boiled the <coughs> dried chilies now let's just cook from the top because uh, we are trying to avoid the seeds and uh, we'll put it inside the blender how much can you put to fit the blender but not too much because uh, uh, we may over cram the blender okay so we'll add i'm gonna add this much and I'm going to pour some water as well because I'm afraid, like I told you, the blender may not spin. And we are going to give it a spin. Okay, halfway through, you can stop the blender and then pour some oil. Estimate. 
all right and then put some salt inside and continue pulsing to a texture you prefer and what happens what happens after that we will put it into our small containers before freezing in the fridge okay ladies and gentlemen this is the outcome and uh, these containers of course the plastic uh, microwavable containers uh, came from whenever I packed food I get this so I kept all aside and uh, it's actually handy now when I want to store my uh, blended chili paste or chili kirin kisa all right now I may have made a mistake just now I said put in the fridge actually you should put it in the freezer right atop and like I've told you earlier Bring out as and when you need. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. I'll see you again. Bye.